Atkins. She is passionate and devoted to empowering older adults to not only, uh, in, oh, sorry, to enjoy a better quality of life. Janet Mackins is not only a journalist, I said this five times today, gerontologist, thank you, but a motivational speaker and a wellness coach. 20 years ago, after receiving her bachelor's degree, she decided to turn back to school to pursue a master's of arts degree in gerontology. With the vision of launching an innovation, innovational elder day services with transformational wellness programs based on holistic principles. Janet not only assists the elderly adapt to life changes, but she also gains fulfillment because this is her calling. She balances her passion with family and three beautiful daughters and handsome grandsons. Would you please help me uh, welcome Janet to the Spark City. Yeah. I am grateful. I am so grateful for life. Have I always felt that way? No. But I thank God for the change in my life. Because I used to be very depressed being a single mom with three daughters. And when the last one went off to college, I started experiencing home alone syndrome and became depressed. But I realized through motivational reading and tapes uh, that the depression was a choice. And only I have the power to change it. So I began to find myself and start changing what I was listening to, what I was speaking, and start reading more, listening to tapes, and start speaking positive affirmations. So I began to speak positive affirmations in my life. <clears throat> Every morning when I wake up, I will wake up and speak something positive into my life. I don't care if it was raining outside or whatever, I will speak that I'm gonna have a good day. But I had to learn to do that. I had to learn to take back my life and live life to the fullness because I realized that that was my choice. I am so grateful the power of gratitude is what changed my life. And, and my mind was like a runaway locomotive. All the negative things was coming. And I didn't know how to change it. At least I thought I didn't know how. But when I start reading and motivating myself, and now I can say I am a professional motivator because I encourage myself every day to bleed for the positive things in my life. And I'm learning to do that every day. Now, I ran across this book, Positive Living Through Affirmations. That is a book that I'm, I'm looking to get because the words you speak is what you're gonna get. And I have to be careful that I make sure that whatever I speak, whatever you put out in the universe is what you're gonna get back. So I am very careful with what I speak. Now, do I watch this every day? I try. I'm not at 100%, but I'm working towards that because I realize the power of my mind and, and the power of my words. And I do know once I put it out there, it's gonna come back at nobody but me. So I work at what I speak, what I listen to, and what I entertain in my mind. It is a choice, but I had to learn that. But I thank God today through my depression that I didn't have to go on drugs or medication that I was able to read my way through it. And now knowing that the power is in me and it's in my words, I encourage myself every day in the word. I speak positivity into my life. Okay. Oh well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> An attitude, an attitude of gratitude brings opportunity. I can actually say that. Now that I keep that positive attitude, I can say today I have, I have received nothing but opportunities. Opportunity that sometimes I'm at odds. And the only thing I can say is look at my God. And every day I wake up with the spirit of gratitude. And I have found that that is so important in life. And what I speak, 
I try to speak that positivity into my life every day. Positive affirmations. I love reading, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. That is a scripture that I read every day. And I choose to believe that. 